Hello everyone, today I'm going to be painting another Etsy commission and this one is for Stuart. Back when I used to make regular videos for the Save the Children channel, every now and then I put out a call for people to help me with the video. So, you know, hi everyone, film yourself doing XYZ and it'll be part of this big video for Save the Children. Anyway, Stuart would always submit something without fail, so he's a very awesome dude. Unfortunately, apart from that, I can't really talk about Stuart because I don't know him that well. Apart from this one time at Summer in the City where he bought me Jaffa's and V drink. He bought me some New Zealand stuff and it was pretty rad. But I've put the call out on Twitter to you guys for what I should talk about. And most of you, surprisingly, have said Kiki, who is my cat. So for everyone who doesn't want to hear about my cat, sorry, but not really because this is what you signed up for. So Kiki, she's an interesting one. So two years ago, I lived in a different flat. I lived on Cold Harbour Lane in Camberwell with my then flatmates, Jamie, Paul and Sabrina. And all three of them had exhibited interest in getting a flat cat, <laughs> not a cat that's flat, but a cat for the flat. So me, Paul and Sabrina had been looking at cats at places like Battersea and RSPCA because we wanted a rescue cat. But the problem was because we lived on a third floor flat, a lot of the places where we were applying to get cats from wouldn't let us have one because they thought we'd be unsuitable owners. What they didn't realise is that we had a roof terrace and the flat was actually pretty ginormous and had access to the outside. So we had to start looking elsewhere. And that's when I found Kiki on Gumtree. I wasn't looking for Kiki on Gumtree, I was actually looking for a new job on Gumtree. But a sponsored listing came up and it just said free to a good home, nine month old kitten. It was a woman in Streatham who was moving to Australia and there was just this one really blurry photo of an absolutely terrified mangy looking cat and I was like, oh, oh, but, but it's so near and she's free. So I said, Paul, can you come to Streatham with me and make sure I don't get kidnapped by a mad woman? And he said, yes. So we show up to this um, kind of block of council flats in Streatham and we hit the buzzer and it's a woman on the ground floor and her one very noisy son. And we walk in and just, you know, standard home. She's fussing around, kind of doing cooking, the kids watching, I want to say Transformers on TV. Genuinely a very surreal experience. Come in, come in, come in. So we come in, she herds us into the living room and, she's, and she sort of says, oh, she, the cat's here somewhere. Um, as it turned out, she was hiding underneath the sofa. But eventually we found her and the woman said, oh, she's just like that. She just likes to hide a lot. Oh, and side note, she wasn't called Kiki when we adopted her. She was actually called Lilo. But she was only nine months old, so we knew that there was time for her to learn a new name and we liked Kiki better. When do you want us to come back and pick her up? Because we are only here to meet her, we don't have anything on us, we can be back in like a couple of days. And the woman says, oh, can you take her now? There's a bit of a silence. I sort of make eye contact with Paul and I can see that his face is just lit up <laughs> and <laughs> I assume that mine had as well. But we didn't have a basket, we didn't have anything, we were like, oh! Yeah, um, we could come back later today once we've got a cat basket and stuff. And she's like, oh, no, 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 it's all right. I've got a basket. I've got a litter tray. I've got a scratching post. I've got food. She had like three months worth of cat food and cat litter, a bunch of toys, like a bed. She had everything. This woman was so prepared for a cat that she didn't want. So Paul and I just had no time to go back to our flatmates and even tell them that we were adopting a cat that day. But between the two of us, we we wrangled this <laughs> this cat we'd just met into her cat basket that we didn't own and so much stuff on three buses all the way back to Brixton and we'd all agreed that she'd be the household cat but you know we knew that we weren't always going to live together we were going to go our separate ways and we decided there and then that she would go with whoever she was most attached to but the first couple of nights that we had her and she was settling in it was my room that she broke into every single night two years later here we are we live somewhere else but we're still together and I love her and she is mine and I am hers. And that is how I met my cat. Mm -hmm. 